Hey guys, it's the Pink Plum Bob here. I'm back again with another video. Now I'm back again with another mod review because those are very, very popular on my channel. And Quiet Stacy came out a little bit ago with a 100 Baby Challenge mod. So if you didn't know, the 100 Baby Challenge, basically a challenge where you try to get 100 babies. And it can get pretty complicated with trying to remember how many babies you've had, yada yada yada. But now there's a mod for that. And it's a pretty small mod. This is why the review is going to be kind of short. But it's really, really helpful. And that's why I wanted to do a review. So, the 100 Baby Challenge mod. This mod was inspired by the popular 100 Baby Challenge made by Snarky Witch. However, you don't have to follow the challenge to use this mod. So, important. Your sim does not have to be the official sim having the babies. It can be a male sim impregnating the world. What if my sim dies? This mod measures how many children your sim has had. So if the original sim has died and their spouse is still alive, you can continue the aspiration by giving you the current sim. So this is an aspiration. This is what it looks like. I'll take you guys into cast and show you where you can find it. Um, how to complete the challenge note. Someone pointed out it can take generations to play this challenge, which is true. And according to Snarky Witch, you must play with the normal lifespan. So here are some ways you can still use this mod to complete the challenge. You can have as many babies as you want with the first sim. And write down his or her total and then add it to the new sim's total. Uh, since you're using this mod, I feel like it just uses a longer lifespan, which is true. Or you can download the 50 baby challenge mod version, which is the same thing uh, she created, but with, um, with 50 babies. And the reason why I'm not showing that off is because... I wanted to show off the 100 baby, which was the full mod. Uh, because your sims might not be able to make it to 100, so this is the first generation. We'll aim towards 50, and then we'll finish it off by aiming it towards 52. How to start, just choose this aspiration and cast, or replace the current aspiration in game. So, download now, you can only keep one package folder. The reason why is that there are two versions. There's one with grandchildren, meaning that grandchildren will count for the aspiration. And one without grandchildren, meaning they won't. So I believe I downloaded the one with grandchildren just to show it off. Um, in my review, I won't get to the grandchildren, obviously. But I sh downloaded it just to show you. And use Clickish. It is a safe as long as... I mean, literally anything you use to download, it's usually not safe because you have to click random things. Just avoid clicking anything. And you can use Clickish. And it's, in my opinion, way safer than AdFly. And if you don't have Patreon, you have to use Clickish. It's, I mean, don't use AdFly. That's like the worst, I mean, the easiest way to get a virus on your computer. So without further ado, we're going to jump into Cast, And I will show off uh, how to get that mod in your game. All right, so we are in game with the Fry family. They are my review family for this, uh, this uh, episode, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure. Anyway, you got the parents and then you got a bunch of children I added. To show off the uh, aspirations. So it is in the family uh, category. And you can see right here. 100 baby challenge. Your objection, objective for this challenge is to give birth to 100 children. Challenged by Snarky Witch. And she gives a lot of credit. Which is really nice of her. She didn't have to do that. Alright. So you can see it has the domestic uh, little trait right there. And so we're going to go in game. I just want to say I freaking love this. This actually is a family in my current household, actually, I have the three right here. I added some more children, but these three are in my current household. And if you want a current household video, let me know, and I will do that uh, very soon. I'm really into my current household right now. So what I'm going to try to do is try to cheat through the aspiration, because obviously in this review, I don't have time to have a lot of babies, and I don't have space in my household. I already I have about space for one more baby. I just didn't want to bother making one. But... With this mod, I suggest using a household enlarger or some mod like that that will make your household bigger. And it's really cool because, you know, you can always carry it on and it's based on how many children you have. And I will, yeah, I will cheat uh, using MC command mod if it will let me to advance the aspirations just so I can show off what it would look like to finish the aspiration and what trait you might get and all that. So we are here with the family. And so she has the one with the aspiration. So you can see these are the first, you know, three here. It's have 10 babies, 
have 20, and have 30, and you can see it, there's 10 out of 5, 20 out of 5, or 5 out of 30, 5 out of 20, and 5 out of 10, because she has 5 children. And so let's see what happens. This is a pretty short review, but I wanted to show how it works. If I can cheat, uh, I'm trying to click here. Let's go ahead. Oh, did it work? So we're going to go ahead and cheat each one of these and see what happens to get to the end. So obviously next thing is 40 babies, 50 babies, 60 babies. And then it's just going to keep on going having babies. And then have 100 babies is the last one. And so the end of the aspiration, you don't get any new... Uh, oh, you do. So what the trade is, is that you get the super... the role model for completing from the super parent aspiration which is actually our 100 baby aspiration and you get um the aspiration that's gives the bonus character value when scoring with your toddler children or teens so that's the reward trait you get which makes me wonder if you don't have parenthood if you still get the reward trait what the difference is she didn't comment on it as i read through the whole thing but that's something to look out for if you don't have parenthood i'm not sure what how it would work but that is really all for this challenge. I just wanted to show off, or not challenge, mod review. I just wanted to show off how the mod works. It's very, very cool. It definitely keeps track of everything. It makes everything neat and tidy. Just to know how many babies you have. And, you know, I would recommend using the 50 baby one. Because, again, 100 babies, normal lifespan, be kind of hard. But you can keep track and kind of just... I would, you see how I cheated through all of these here. Let's say your sim dies, you have 30 babies. Just click through 1 through 30 and then move on with the next sim. And I think that's a perfect way on how to fix that. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. There should be a video out later this week. Not really with the voiceover. I'm actually just getting over a cold. And I finally get to do a voiceover. That's why I've been waiting all weekend to do it. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Get ready for a video later this week and a video over the weekend. And I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, bye. And uh, enjoy the rest of my videos if you ever get a chance to watch them.